Hello guys, welcome to my 16th video tutorial on XHTML and CSS. In this video I will teach you how to make some modifications on your tables okay, with um, CSS code. So let's go and open let's go to our portal open page1.html with notepad and you can delete all the code from the previous video and in the body you can delete also the link okay so <coughs> uh, now we are ready so let's make a new table let's make table close table and inside table as you remember we have to do a table row close table row and inside table row, uh, table row let's give it a, <coughs> a TD table data our first table data another table data you can remember table data as a, a column so let's make a two column table okay <coughs> and you can copy this because I want to make another row copy it and here you can paste it so we have now two rows with two columns. Save it and let's type inside uh, the the cells or table data. Let's uh, write um, data one. Data two. You can type whatever you want. Okay. Data data 4 okay let's save it <coughs> and uh, let's open this in uh, Chrome uh, this is too big okay uh, just a second okay you can see it now okay so here uh, is our table for now and <coughs> you've learned I think to do some um, how to make some mm, borders I think we did that in, uh, in the table video uh, tutorial and we also made um, how to do some uh, some I think we made some size changes on our cells I don't remember okay but now I'm going to teach you how to do that all um, <coughs> all those all those changes in uh, CSS so basically you can do it in HTML XHTML you can put a border and colors uh, using XHTML but I advise you to use uh, use it uh, or make changes in your tables uh, using CSS code why because in the future you will have to use a lot more properties and change the properties in CSS code than in XHTML. XHTML as I said uh, in the first or second video tutorial in this course XHTML will only uh, will only we will only use it for the data or content okay so let's we have to <coughs> we have to remember that uh, we must uh, do the XHTML code to be as simple as possible and minimal code as possible and then in CSS we can change the properties colors sizes uh, whatever we want to change uh, we do it in CSS okay the decoration we do it in CSS so then we will have a nice and clear code um, on XHTML instead of 
uh, instead of uh, messing it up and putting all colors and uh, for each cell a color and for each row uh, a size and uh, if we have two tables each table whatever uh, size and colors background colors we'll have a mess up col mess up uh, XHTML code and that is not nah, not very nice because it will give us a lot of trouble to search and change uh, whatever we want to change in in the future so it's best and clear it's clearer for uh, for us to use CSS code to make all the changes in properties okay and colors and so on so let's use uh, CSS code to change uh, some properties in our table like for example let's make uh, first of all table table selector and let's give it um, a border okay a border let's give it a border to to the table uh, let's give it a uh, two pixel solid border with Example, we can give it a black color. Okay, let's give it a black color. Now let's save it and let's see this. Uh, and okay, so this is the border that we uh, gave to our table and CSS. So <coughs> now I want to make another uh, property I want to change uh, I want to give a border to the table rows and let's give it a border of also two pixel now let's give it a one pixel solid and black also Let's see this. Uh, okay, something is wrong. Ah, okay, of course. Uh, we have to give. Uh, I forgot that uh, instead of tr table row, the border for us to see um, it uh, in action in uh, the, our table we have to give it a selector of the td because we don't want any border on the table rows we want the border on each uh, I want a border on each cell so this will be this would be a cell this another this another so we'd have four cells so each cell will have a border of a nice one pixel solid black let's refresh and there it is each cell four cells each cell will have a black border one pixel wide so now I want to make for example let's give it let's give a background color to each cell so let's choose the the table row selector and then let's make it a background color uh, let's say red background color red let's refresh and there it is okay so each uh, in this case okay this case we are using the TR selector so it's given TR which is the table row which is this would be a TR the data 1 and data 2 would be uh, a TR and data 3 data 4 would be the uh, the other TR so we have two TRs two table rows so if we give a background color to the table row it automatically give a background um, color to each cell in that row okay but uh, we're not specifying if we want table uh, background color red for row one or row two we want all rows to have background color red okay so in this case it gives uh, background color to all rows but I think if we 
if we did if we did it um, uh, like this TD let's let's try I think we can do it this way also so we given uh, we are given now each uh, cell each table data a background color of red okay so yeah it's the same thing okay so we can use it um, either in TD selector okay or we can use TR selector for that um, now how to change the size of the cells okay the size of the cells so we can do that by choosing um, by typing padding remember a padding attribute so padding let's give a 10 pixel padding to to TD which uh, are the cells and as you see each cell have now a padding of 10 pixel let's give a 20 pixel padding so with the in this uh, with this property you can um, almost uh, control the size of the entire tables okay okay guys this is all for this video if you have any questions just uh, send me a message or post your questions in the comment uh, in the comment section below okay and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you guys later bye